Hello and welcome to Clock Strikes Midnight. In this episode, we're sitting down to unpack the mystery of the Devil's Chair. Join us as we head to Kirksville, Missouri to explore this ominous statue that some say is a portal straight to hell. Prepare for a journey into the dark. If the chance to sit on the Devil's Throne presented itself to you, would you take a seat? Well, in Kirksville, Missouri, the opportunity to do just that awaits. Right here in Highland Park Cemetery sits the Devil's Chair. Legend has it, those brave enough to have a seat in the Devil's Chair at the stroke of midnight will somehow gain devilish powers. Other tales say that if you take the Devil's Seat, you will feel his touch on your shoulder, or, worse yet, you may be dragged down to hell altogether. Of course, these are all folk tales passed down through generations since the chair's creation in 1890 or 1891. Or are they just stories? Questions surround the Devil's Chair. Why did its creator have it erected only to be buried at a cemetery across town? Was it merely a tribute to his lost loved ones? or perhaps a portal for him to be able to travel to and fro, visiting his loved ones in the afterlife. The man responsible for the construction of the Devil's Chair was William Thomas Baird. A native of Kentucky, Baird migrated to Kirksville, where he started work as a bank clerk, eventually owning his very own Baird's Bank. Baird would be an important citizen in Kirksville, serving as city and county treasurer, and also being a prominent member of the school board. It is believed by most that Baird had the chair made as a monument for his brother and sister, who had passed years before. The monument, stylized as a chair, was most likely designed that way to provide seating for people making full-day trips to the cemetery. In the past, people would make day-long trips to visit their loved ones, as traveling wasn't as easy or convenient as it is in modern times. So naturally, it'd be nice to have somewhere to sit while visiting. Interestingly, Baird is not buried in Highland Park Cemetery with the Devil's Chair. No, he's buried across town at the Forest Llewellyn Cemetery. This is where other higher class members of Kirksville are buried, including Andrew Taylor Still, the father of osteopathy. Legends suggest that Baird uses the Devil's Chair as some sort of portal in the afterlife to travel the world of the undead. In a strange twist, the father of eugenics and one of Adolf Hitler's main inspirations, Henry Laughlin, is buried at Highland Park Cemetery, albeit in an unmarked grave. In a strange tie-in with the Devil's Chair, Laughlin, who's buried at Highland Park Cemetery, could be responsible for another haunted object in Kirksville, the Dybbuk Box. Said to be cursed by a Jewish immigrant, because she was denied entry into the country during the Holocaust based on sterilization laws put into place by Laughlin himself. The Dybbuk box would fall into the hands of a Kirksville professor, Jason Haxton. When Jason opened and interacted with the cursed box, he claims that it caused people to get sick, unfortunate accidents to happen, and even caused people to die. Jason, who wrote a book about his experiences with the Dybbuk box, eventually sold it to Zach Baggins, who now displays it in his haunted museum. Other devil's chairs exist around the country, 
including in Florida, Illinois, Iowa, New York, Ohio, and Georgia. Many of these monuments share the same urban legend, that those brave enough to sit on it on Halloween night or midnight on a full moon will shortly thereafter meet their doom. One local ghost hunter who we travel with occasionally, Chad Corum, had his own strange experience at the Devil's Chair. One rainy evening, while visiting the Devil's Chair around midnight, Chad captured this strange mist above the chair. Some who have studied the mist in the picture say they can make out a face, possibly even the face of William Thomas Baird. Chad also caught an EVP while at the Devil's Chair that some say sounds like, Help me. An undeniably creepy experience. After this, Chad seemed to have a negative energy follow him around for a few weeks. Eventually, Chad was able to cleanse himself of the darkness that attached to him while investigating the devil's chair. The ghost of William Thomas Baird? Or perhaps something more sinister? Baird's bank still stands, but now is Pagliai's Pizza. We went inside the pizza joint to have a bite to eat, where it's said they have a picture of Baird hanging on the wall. It took some looking around, but eventually we found it. And then we realized it's the same picture that Pagliai's Pizza has on their pizza box. Perhaps a tribute to the legend William Thomas Baird, or even more so, the legend of the Devil's Chair. Questions remain. What was Baird's real purpose for the Devil's Chair, and could there be portals to other dimensions at play in Kirksville, Missouri? The answers are out there. How far are you willing to go to find them?